What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Johnny5 Alive here, and I'm joined with Lauren. Hello. And we're going to be playing some Divinity Original Sin 2 co op together. And we're just, uh, we figured out our character customization um, here. And I'm going to be going with a human named Johnny. I'm just kind of playing my myself here, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be doing the knight. And yeah, pretty straightforward here. My appearance is all there. You can see it. And I took a point out of constitution and put it in for memory just so I can have more skills earlier on. And I'm all about the bartering, the two-handed and um, the warfare. My talents is opportunist. opportunist. If somebody walks by me, I basically hit them. And my tags are jester and soldier. And then my instrument is the oud. Oud? Something like that. <laughs> um, we both are gonna be able to pick our own companion in the game. So we looked through the six origin stories and figured out who's gonna play what. So I'm gonna be picking up Beast the Dwarf as my companion, and I'm going to make him into a metamorph, the metamorph dwarf. So we got a shape-shifting dwarf. It should be kind of fun. And uh, yeah, that's everything I chose. Lauren, what do you got? All right, I have got a lizard is my origin background, um, which is they, I think they look pretty awesome. They're very unique. Uh, their talent thingies is they she has like a dragon's blaze, which is a fire breath, and then I think doma protection. You said was like everybody had that. I also have sophisticated, which gives me fire resistance and poison resist, and then spell song, which gives me extra persuasion. Um, I'm going with an enchanter preset class which is basically like a water air caster and they're kind of like the healers um i figured mm -hmm. it's kind of easy for me since i haven't really played this game before and it goes um, well with a warrior because you could be healing me and mm -hmm. it's a good combo yep and her uh i switched around her stats a little bit and we kind of played with these things i picked up uh, i did switch her to have the heal first instead of it was just another like rain spell so i switched to have the heal because that seems useful um, as for talents, I took Pet Pal because I want to talk to animals. Why not? That seems amazing. And tags, I did. Uh, I am a scholar and a nobleman, which doesn't quite work out to gentlemen, but, you know, it's close <laughs> enough. So, yep. And then my instrument, I stuck with the Ben Suri, which is like a, it sounds like a wood flute, which is really cool. So, yeah, that's my and character. Oh, and my companion, I'll probably pick up Sibyl, Sibyl, or however you say her name. Elf. And yep she's an elf and i'll probably make her like a ranger or wayfarer type um and i guess her backstory is that she like wants revenge on she was a slave or something so and my guy's cool. just a captain a pirate dwarf <laughs> all right so let's just jump on into it so we are playing on explorer mode uh lauren's never played one of these games and uh we want to just focus on the story and stuff like that we don't want to be keep reloading combat all the time so should be an easier playthrough, but we're gonna have fun with it. All right, we got an intro to watch here. Yeah. It all happened. Let me get the like volume up. It would. A single drop of source magic, and like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the Magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just I do love I the planned. painterly art style. I didn't hear what she said. I was shackled and collared. And sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. Do you not have subtitles? I do not. I I always play with them on because Did yeah. you enable them? I no, they were already on. That's weird. Maybe I didn't notice them? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I didn't see any. Hmm. You can also play this with an what Xbox controller, but I'm not ready to do that. I think Let's get out bearings. better with a... Is that you? Oh, that is you, I think. Press home or double click a member. Let's just 
double click memory. Okay, that's centers. I'll need to write to headquarters right now. Press log. Alright. We're just in <laughs> that's your character. Yeah. Beautiful. You got uh, butterfly wings. Mm-hmm. She got some swagger in her step. Look at that. <laughs> boom, <does>. boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, I, I just feel boring. <laughs> Next to this long legged lizard lady over here. Awesome. Alright. Ah, uh, you're up. I am up. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. There. Not too tight, I hope. Can you hear this? The collar, I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. She called me a dog. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. Oh, wait, no. Now I can't All passengers I can't hear have to be registered oh. in the ship's manifest. And he's the I had chap to click in on charge you. of now the I'm, like, listening in, I guess. Okay. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the oh, officer's quarters. Crap. Uh, I have no idea what any of these buttons do. Okay. Uh, give the Magister a quick salute and report for duty on the good ship. The last thing you remember oh, so is hoisting your fifteenth pint. Is the so those are responses head. based on the tags you chose? Then that's yeah. Cool. The good ship Merryweather, but you can stand at ease there, Private. You do realize you're not in any army here, don't you? True. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gaze. <laughs> like the narrator. I was saying, I hope they voice acted the narrator. Yeah, like, that's what's awesome. the narrator? And I was like, well, there's a guy that always talks. My word. <laughs> you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? That's the dude. Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh, well. I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. Oh, Joy. A new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. I gotta turn the volume up a bit more. Alright, um... I wanna know why, why she collared me. Why, for my me. peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. You recall great powers <laughs> building inside you. The ones commanded before your capture. Unleash Cups them! of magic surge inside you. <laughs> Boy, little Hadouken. Then breaking, only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. My, look at the concentration on your face. All will, but no result. There you have it, see? The collar's function. It neuters you, of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Now this is the thing that confuses me about source magic because you have magic spells. How's that any different than source magic? They must be like super magic spells because yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, in the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. You'll find him on the other side of this deck in the officers' quarters. Huh, apparently, I can go through the same. Yep. Like discussion that you but did. You, now That's you can do being a scholar or a noble, I guess. <laughs> I want to make them die. <laughs> Are you watching in or servants. like... Yeah, I am. Taking forever. No indications of a struggle. Well, we don't need to go oh, through it twice, do we? No, we don't need to. I was just mentioning. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm afraid <laughs> you're a long... Index fingers pressed to her lips. My word. You do... Oh, well. And a new yeah, life awaits. Awaits. All right. How do I get out of this dial? Oh, there we go. Yes. Yeah, that was a little A young magister a stands pale and silent. Wait, her I knuckles said... whiten around her weapon as you pass. We go Behind the magister, I think a blooded so. mass Stepping lies all in the a blood, heap. Gore the scene. and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. Blood can You're be peer into the room and ask There's what been happened. a murder. Been a, a sorcerer was killed by one How of your own. How'd you do own. that? Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted him. at the time. Oh. Or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. This is good. 
Good uh, thing you were getting your collar fitted at the time, otherwise we would be a suspect. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. Uh, can I lend a hand in the investigation? Aren't you enterprising? I'll let Waters tell you now herself. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I gotta talk to this guy. Oh, uh... You're talking. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I missed. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder <laughs> in your sleep, of course. I'll shrug and say maybe you can. I don't know what that means as far as lizards go. I don't know. Try it. Well, I guess that means lizards have some kind of ability to go into the house of dreams. That sounds interesting. Figured as much. Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? <laughs> yeah. I like Not in that. here, it isn't. <laughs> you let me know if you hear anything. <laughs> yeah. Darn. <laughs> You'll take what My you can get. My persuasion is not high enough yet. <laughs> it seems as well. Well, I think it would be a persuasion option, wouldn't it? That can't be natural. Uh, maybe. Well, well, I'm just, just yeah, I'm just saying because my, you know, I did the extra stats. In the What's in here? Do we, no, do. Uh, what? That would be the upper deck. I guess we should explore down here. <laughs> Probably. More. Come on, please, Losa. What are these we kids up to? Up? I forgot how to I don't sing. know. Should we? I did. Because I don't know. Hmm. It was one of them. Ah, oh, there you are. Um, husband. She's calling me her husband. What? Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat-like babes that I am by no hey, she's talking this about Losa woman. Nor do I sing. In fact, I'm deathly, deathly allergic. Play along, take her arm with a grin. Tell the children they must be mistaken. Yes! How very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeb refuses to be confused with anyone else. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoes oh, the wait, children said, away from her it with is a laugh. Close, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Got to keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? Um. I ain't saying nothing. Bloody dwarves, I'll come back to you. But you better be ready to talk here. Eh? Guess you aren't a creative type, are you, Chief? I say they're one and the same. Nope. Trying not to find anything out, either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. Tell her she ought to have a look around with you. Yeah, I'm guessing this is like trying to recruit her. But I don't want to recruit her. <laughs> I'm just going to take so, my leave. Well, her eyes I would assume if you pick up a black, companion, you can always like, run down kick them out of your party at any point too, right? Cruel sneer. I don't want to have to as do that. As quickly as they came, huh. the clouds clear. She Good luck, Chief. Luck, like Chief. I just wanted to help her out, get these little brats off her back. Have a good night. Have a good life, Los. I need a dwarf. <laughs> Metal crate. Is this considered stealing? An elf it's definitely sits this tucked dog away in a it. dark spot. Oh, I can talk with him. ducks onto the surface of a barrel. They sound snake eyes. Oh. Can I leave this conversation? This is sub She chuckles. I bet that's oh, just yeah? what they'll look like. Wow, they're like all on this boat? <laughs> Rolling dice? Yep. Deciding fates. She eyes you quite <laughs> Not the future, no. Wait. But I can read the past in flesh. One oh, of the what perks is going of being on? an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it, too. So, consuming flesh allows her to see... I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't see what I'm <laughs> She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue. Efficient. <laughs> oh, okay. <like> <laughs> hmm. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. 
As everyone lay sleeping, you lay awake thinking of someone back home. A very special someone. You were reminiscing <laughs> about the things you used to do together. Uh... <laughs> oh, you have a terrible memory if you forgot what happened last night. You don't know what you're talking she about. You this lizard lady's my only friend. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, no need to be a sourpuss. You don't have to worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. All right. I don't lick and tell. <laughs> tell that to the lizard lady. <laughs> what are you trying to hear anyway? She smiles, contempt. Just a kitten in a corner. I, I don't know if you want to talk to her because maybe you can try to recruit sure. her. Sure. Yeah. Let's see. The woman keeps you rolling can, her I, can't, I couldn't Oops, talk to paid. her while you're talking to her. Sorry. Yeah. I, yeah. I just no trying to listen, listen in. Snake eyes. Ooh, she doesn't like me. She chuckles. <laughs> I bet that's just what they'll look like. She's not going to lick you. <laughs> They're not going to lick a lizard. Rolling dice. <laughs> Deciding fates. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. She looks you up and down with the merest hint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. <laughs> she eyes you quite seriously. <laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you s I could lick your arm and tell you how you oh, spent the she night will before lick last. Me. Shall I? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> she gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue. Hmm. You were in a cellar. Oh, it's all with the same. Sorcerers. As every be different. you were reminiscing. So it must have been us. <laughs> about the things you used to do together. She pats you on the shoulder, consoling. There, there. Don't you worry, darling. I don't lick and. Oh, and well, that was the end. Oh well. I can't get her to come with me. They don't care about us. We're like cattle to them. What's this guy? I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sub stuff. I mean, if I do something, it'll update our journal, wouldn't it? So it'd probably be best if we split up. Against the wall with mm -hmm. arms you go talk to the lizards. A sly smile playing on his oh, face. Lizards. He stares across the at the magister guarding him. Noticing you, ah. he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. Okay, pathing. Watch your back. Friend. New fish. There we go. There's a murderer on board, and I bet three months' pay it's this trampy fan. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan Beckett. Oh, here's the again. Red Prince. Ooh. Uh, I like his voice. Me too. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug. Balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He winks. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifa. And now, you. We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many <laughs> moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword and now he's Johnny Big Pants. Johnny Big Pants? I'm Johnny Big Pants. Uh-oh. Apparently I'm his slave now. <laughs> what are you doing over there? I don't know. I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> no. The dead man, Finn, is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down with Uncle uh, I might have he accidentally glances over at Magister him. Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Uh, or he recruited Damn shame, me. <laughs> sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. The joy. I've heard a lot. Oh, here's some. Um, I Nothing think this good. is Beast. You want, no surprise you there. Him, right? Some bitch about it. Wonder yeah. if we'll get to meet to the Ringmaster himself. 
How do you cancel talking? Oh. Easy now. I might think the same. But Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. What are you conspiring about over there? You! What's your name? Oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. A bee in his bonnet? Me. Name! Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Away with you! Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips, as he leans back against the wall. So that was Ifan. Uh, well, you clearly don't know the first thing well, about Well, they thought so he murdered him, but... Oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, apparently Sibyl didn't want to join me, and I think I accidentally recruited the Red Prince. Well, I don't think you did because he's not in our party. I don't think we no, can he said, care about us. He was, like, he was like, oh, you're my slave now. I'll give you and I was like, I'm your what now? And he's like, oh. So, like, I'll join up with you then, or something like that. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't think we can actually recruit, recruit until we're the off the ship. You you oh, hey, look, up. it's Fane. But he's, like, dressed as an elf right now, I guess. A raw dwarf sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, boy. You hear that? That right? I always knew you'd turn up frogs and bend nest. Your kind always hung closest to our divine. The ship, of course. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. And? I've seen the ship is moaning like a sick man. Pigs. There's, there's nothing else the fellow cocks his ear, listening. That isn't anger. It's... He cocks his ear to the other side, then smiles. Anticipation. She senses something. I'd hold on to my breeches if I were you, mate. That's all you hear, though. Listen close. Get saucy with me when you clearly don't know the first thing about saucy. There now, just like that. Aha! His eyes snap open Man, as I really his countenance breaks in into an NPCs. expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back, the other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard that, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. It's the wheel, the wheel, don't you see, you beautiful idiot? Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we're heading east. Burn my beard. That means if we've been travelling for... Yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. <laughs> He's so, like, ship savvy. He's so smart. <laughs> Indeed, boy. But that ain't my final destination. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. He continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. Darn it, he's planning an escape pardon. plan or something, and he's not letting me There's know. Nothing else I can make, <laughs> Your Majesty. Turnips There's a lot of people in here to talk to. Did you talk to anyone else? I talked to Fane. Unacceptable. I talked to I've never done some of the Magister people. Dinner, and I, don't intend to do I talked to this cook over here. She What's back know. here? Well, uh, there has been a murder, Your Majesty. I think we're just. Did you talk to, to this? Talking about the murder. 
Well, well I think we're supposed to go. I think we're supposed to go in here. There's a quest flag over here, and, and the guy let me in here. Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer what? haughtily eyeing Shoot a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Oh. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Uh oh. Good. Gosh, right, right. The woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Should we stand by her? <laughs> uh, I would probably do three, but I don't know. It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. Jeez. I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. Uh. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. That sounds ominous. Oh, we're, we're screwed. Well, game over. Time to start over again. <laughs> What's happening? 400 EXP. No time Hold for chatter. left. We gotta get out of here. Left alt. Yep. Oh, pumpkin oh. soup. Oh, you just, just start stealing everything. Broken swords collar. Can I hey, sell it? A note. Hey, there's a chest over here. Oh. Wait. We can loot the dead bodies. Is there uh, another chest with your gear in it? Because I feel like that was warrior gear that I just picked up. I don't know. Let me see here. Maybe it has gear for me. Well, I got a staff. Here. Um, I thought I could put stuff in your bag. I want some cheese bread. If, if you push I, it opens up your bag. Um... But okay. it, shows, it shows mine as well. Shouldn't I be able to drag stuff and give it to you? I threw, I it, no I threw it on the ground. <laughs> oh, if you right click stuff, you can say send to me. Uh, I should just be able to drag and drop it. Do you want to shiv? No, I, I dropped the staff on the ground. <laughs> do you see it? Oh, there you oh go. yeah. Um, do you want... Oh. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a shield. Is that a one-handed staff? Uh, I I don't know how to tell. <laughs> I I, does it take up both your slots? Does the weapon show in both your hands? I think so. Does it show the same icon in both slots? Yeah, but okay. yeah, the other one's like faded out. But yeah. Yeah, that's a two-hander. You want a shift? <laughs> I got one. Uh, what did it say? Hold. Should we take all this crap? I mean, we might as well take the food, because I think it could heal yeah, Magister's some of it. notes. I read that and dropped it. Yeah, we're just taking our time looting while the, while the boat is on fire. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds about right. Alright, yep. should we go upstairs? Or should we run through the... I'm just wondering if there's anything we should loot. There's a bucket helmet what? over here. <laughs> what happened? Oh, hey, I can... uh, must have been the turnips. Oh no! Is this <laughs> grab, dead? Grab a nearby cup and throw some water in water. his face. Wine, for goodness sake! Water? Wine, oh. for goodness sake! The lizard's eyes close as he slips into uncommon. The dwarf lies in a heap dead? on the floor, his great beard twisted and tangled around him. You hear a faint thud, thud, thud. He's alive. Well, I don't think we can save any of these people. Should we go upstairs? Oh, yeah, they're all like knocked out. Darn it. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I'm going upstairs. Okay. Oh, uh, God. Okay. Whoa, what? Oh, there's a 
There's a guy with a key on him down here. Oh. That lets me into this locked room over here to loot more things. Damn, that doesn't bode well. Onwards and upwards. Break the door down with my sword. Apparently it was not for that. Hey, do you want to kill these guards up here? <laughs> I'm trying. The the pathing in this game is a little wonky. Did I go where you're going? Where you went? Or did you go yeah. somewhere else? I broke this door down over here. We might I'm be able to get to some. A dog. Yeah, I already did that. Or wait, you actually can talk to him. Pet pal. Uh, he doesn't like me. I'm a sorcerer. No, 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 no. Uh, I can ask the dog if his job is not to hunt sorcerers. <laughs> oh no, why why'd you kill the doggy? <laughs> it's an evil source dog. No, uh -uh. he was upset because he couldn't breathe. There was too much magic. Aww. Poor puppy. Hey, we got 25 EXP. Aww. We're low on health, though. Minor healing potion. Do you have a healing potion? I have I one. Do the thing. Oh, you can heal us. Regenerating. How come my health's not going up? I don't know. That's very odd. It's like a hot, but it's supposed to heal you. Yeah. Uh, is there a quick save in this game? No idea. I'll have to look into that before we do the next episode. Okay, I have a water barrel? How do I throw a water <laughs> barrel? Do you want to fight these peasants? Yeah. Um, I can't. They're cowards. Okay, how do we get out of here? Well, I picked up a water barrel, but how do I, like, throw it? Uh... Aha! Oh. There we go. Look at you. Using the elements. Yes. My magical water barrel. Four gold! Great God, something's pounding on a stained the shirt, perfect. The marking on the door was painted recently judging from its pungent scent. You don't recognize the symbol. You press your palm against the door to open it. Apparently my the key did not work. The is neither cold nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand. It doesn't budge. I can't see because you're in my way. Oh, that door ain't going anywhere. Hmm. And your key doesn't work? Wait. The marking on the door means death fog with it? Ow! Oh, now I'm healed up. Heal, oh, your, heal you yourself. Get? I don't know. I think it was just your heal. Where'd you go? Is that you over there? Wait, what's this blue dot back here? Maybe these cowards know how to get out of here. Darn it, the door's locked. Oh no, that is you. Ooh, resurrection scroll. Okay, it doesn't hurt to look around, that's for sure. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's this? Bishop Alexander. Thank the God! By the fine grace, what was... He eyes the collar circling your neck and reaches a hand towards his blade. Another sorcerer! The Magister's companion doesn't blink, frozen in place at the sight of you. He leaps to attention. Then... Don't just cower there, Rix! Take Get over here! Blade. Get over here! They're gonna start Try. fighting me. Rix okay. raises his sword, which shakes to the rhythm. All right. 
battering ram right through both of them. <laughs> oh nice. yeah, battle stomp. Oh. So oh yeah, I was so much help. Look at me go. <laughs> Adventure mode. OP. I still didn't heal. I don't know how you did it. Oh. Neither do I. Yeah, it's weird that the heal's not working. Oh, pick up paintings off the wall. I remember those always being good. Oh, yeah, like worth money? Unless they weigh, weigh more now. Ah, not too bad. This door is level question mark. Makeshift wand. That's kind of cool. I got a broom. <laughs> well, I guess we go upstairs more. Oh god. Whoa, it's a kraken! Oh my. Did you come upstairs? Yes, I just got up here. Uh, it said something about burning this? Uh, burning what? The poison? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a firestone grenade. Ooh. That's interesting. I'm kind of regretting getting rid of that rain spell now. I didn't know there'd be so much fire to begin with. <laughs> oh, that's cool. He got caught on fire running at you. Okay. Alright, I have no idea. You know what they should do? They should show me your abilities on my screen while it's your turn. You know what I mean? That would be cool, yeah. Look at this Kraken. Wow. I don't know how this works at all. Oh, okay. It did something. Oh. It did put out the fire there. A little bit. Oh, but it chilled you too? So oh, like you froze fire? me! <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's friendly fire. That's interesting. I wonder if I can heal myself now. Uh, do I... We're out of combat now, right? I think so, yeah. Cool, he had a fireball. Oh. Oh god! That's not good. What'd you do? Uh, the, the guy steering the ship just got blown up. The whole place is <laughs> on fire. Why am I running so slow? Is it because he froze me? Oh. Maybe? I have too much to kill. Oh, Lauren, to the lifeboat! I'm trying. This, the walking is terrible in this game. I think if you hold shift and click, you'll auto run. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or just click far away and you'll run. How do I get on it? Let me on! The dwarf isn't letting us on. What? Thank you, thank you, thank you! There's a ladder right over there! You're gonna be the death of us, you hear? Okay. Wait, so we gotta go back down and look for survivors? I... I guess so. Well, there's plenty down here. Uh-huh. I'm going straight for the dwarf. So that person's pretty much dead. What in the world? Wait! Void Woken! Void Woken? Uh, what's going on? Oh, there's enemies down here, Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see those weird slug things? Yeah, I'm in combat. Uh -huh. are, you, are you as well? Yeah, but I'm, like, way far away from you, so... I'll probably have to use all my action points walking. <laughs> I killed one thing. I thought Oh, so, like, Los and all of them are fighting now, too. Okay. 
I've faced worse. So we kind of get an idea. He's a rogue. She's a rogue as well. Or he was a ranger. Because he did the arrows. I thought he did other. No, he did the elemental arrows, the ranger thing. Ow. Okay. Attack and movement. I'm, I don't really know. Oh, I'm trying to heal you soon. It doesn't seem to. It works on you. It's not been working on me. For whatever reason. Whoa. Cool. So Beast is a rogue. Is he? No, they, I think they just all have shivs because that's the only thing available here. Well, he did Blinding Radiance. I thought. I read that on somebody. Oh. I mean, I don't think it matters, but it, I am curious to know what their or intended class maybe it was... Is. Oh, I don't remember. Ooh, encouraged. Oh yeah, I have that too, don't I? It's my turn? Uh-huh. Thunderclap. <laughs> Squish. You squish that bug. It's extreme prejudice. Well, he's a warrior too, wow. then, isn't he? Because he got battle stomp. I think so. Unless he's like an inquisitor, because they have a mixture, right? <laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody out! Get to the deck! Move, move, move! <laughs> I saved you all! <laughs> They're all on the boat and they just leave us. <laughs> Boat's full. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm, the Kraken's like. Oh no! Oh no! Whoa! Oh my goodness. Uh, it's pretty crazy. We we actually didn't get on the boat. Oh <laughs> no. Uh, That's lovely art. Mm-hmm. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. Hi, Judge Orivan. So what I take from that is source magic is related to those, uh, what do they call them? The Void? The Void Woken? Vo the Void Woken. So I guess the Void magic is different than actual magic, and the source caller prevents us from using Void magic, or the, the source magic the source attracts magic, a yeah. Void minions of some sort. <laughs> so um, it's interesting. Lots of questions there. Did you see them? The Void Woken. The All right, we are on ship. the beach. Um, <clears throat> no telling if there are more ashore, and I doubt that that voice will save any of us You're again. You're so tall. <laughs> I'm a little midget. Good thing, good thing I didn't go with the dwarf after all. <laughs> I'd be like below your knees. Um, <laughs> you just like walk over me. Um, actually, what will be funny is if you go with the, the, the elf, we'll have like mm -hmm. all different sizes. Because <laughs> elves are taller than humans as well. Mm -hmm. My game's pretty loud. I'm going to have to see how the volume is after this recording. But I think uh, we'll end it there because we're at 45 minutes already. That was a long little tutorial. Mm -hmm. And we'll pick it up in the next 
episode and we'll start doing whatever's on this beach. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye now. Bye now.